Hey everyone, this was another week dominated by coronavirus. At this rate, by the time things finally get back to normal, the Chelsea pension has all largely consisted of the team from last season. It's been so long since I went down to the local gym, I should probably start calling it James. But here we are, and this week saw the nation stop to commemorate VE Day in the end of the Second World War in Europe. Prince Charles led a two-minute silence, whilst Prince Andrew also joined in with two minutes of right to remain silent. May the 8th, VE Day, was also ironically the anniversary of the day that the WHO declared that smallpox had been eradicated back in the day. You'd have thought that a comparison of what it was like then to now would have been a large story, yet here we are in 2020 with newspapers leading with the big story that reality TV show Love Island is going to be cancelled. Due to corona concerns, however, not because it's the television equivalent of feeding a library into a wood chipper. The front page in the BBC right now is talking about how the singer Little Richard has died at the age of 87, with the suggestion that COVID is to blame, rather than simply being an 87-year-old person whose lifestyle had been a hybrid of Keith Richards and Liberace. At this moment, anyone who dies for whatever reason is liable to be connected to coronavirus, though, no matter what the actual cause of death is. It kind of reminds me like when I was a child and my mother used to make sure I didn't take up smoking by regularly pointing out dead people on the television who died at a young age and had smoked cigarettes. Whether that person was Yo Brenner or John Wayne who died from lung cancer or JFK who occasionally smoked cigars when he wasn't travelling to Dallas. Talk of US presence actually, I noticed that VE Day is also Harry Truman's birthday. He was only a month into the job actually when that happened, so I wonder if he initially thought all the celebrating on the television was for him. Anyway, for now I'll close with the observation that VE Day may have been the end of the war in Europe, but the Second World War continued for several months later until the Japanese finally surrendered. So here's hoping that the lockdown stuff is over by August 15th, and that the life for healthcare workers can finally get back to normal, rather than having to work 20-hour shifts in order for their inclusivity manager to be able to post choreographed dance videos to Twitter. Taxpayer money hard at work there, I see. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.